Alright guys, how's it going? So we have a user request here, and it's from Benedict. Please make a tutorial on how to make a good setup and workflow for texture painting, maybe UDIMS. I can certainly try my best mate, and I'll talk you through the basics of UDIM support. Now if you're unsure what UDIMS are, they're essentially, the best way I can describe it, is it lets you have more than one UV map, or one image per UV. It's easier just to show you, I should have probably googled what UDIM is. <laughs> But I think it was actually invented by Weta years ago, but anyway, sidetrack. So we'll treat the default cube with the respect that it deserves because it makes a good demonstration object. And what I'll do here is I'll quickly jump into UV editing. Now this already has a UV map applied and if I open up the properties here, we don't have any UDIM support. So what I need to do here is I need to go to new and I'll call this my first UDIM. And we'll have a texture resolution of 1024 by 1024. And what we need to do here is enable tiled. Now it probably should say UDIM support, but anyway, developers have a strange naming convention. And what we can do here is generated type, we'll make this a color grid and we'll hit OK. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly delete the standard UV map and I'm going to create a new UV map. So I'll come up to UV. I'll just do a smart UV project and I'll hit OK. Now there's a good chance this might need mirrored, but we'll take this in steps. But you can now see when I open the image properties, I now have UDIM support. Now UDIM essentially lets me set different texture resolutions. So for example, this front face on the cube, I would like to have a, a larger resolution for the mesh. I might only see the front from the camera and the rest can be a lower resolution. So what I can do here is, I can actually add in a new UDIM tile, so hit plus. We'll leave the number as the next progressive number, and I can actually label this, so I'm going to call this front. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm actually going to double the resolution. Because it's on the front, I want more resolution, I want more detail, so I'll just do something like times two. Generated type, we'll just make this a UV grid for example, and I'll hit OK. Now, in theory, it should give you the name of the UDIM tiles, so this should say front and this should say 1001, but it's a bit buggy at the moment. But anyway, so we now essentially have two different UDIM tiles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this front polygon in the UV map, and I'm going to move this over to the right UDIM tile. Now, I could press G to grab, X and then 1, and that'll move over, but I'm just going to grab it, and I'm just going to quickly scale up the UV map for the front. And what this means is, Anything other than the front will be using 1024 and the front will be using 2048. And that's pretty much the basics of UDIM tiles. Now in order to set this up for texture painting, what we need to do is we need to go to image and we need to save as. And I'm just going to quickly save this as my first UDIM 1001, I'll hit save image. And if I actually check on the desktop, you can see here I actually saved out two images, 1001 and 1002. Quickly jump back into Blender. I'll go into the shading editor and I'll set up a quick texture map. All I need to do here is drop down an image texture. We'll plug this into the colour and I'll open up 10001. And you can see here it automatically changed to UDIM tiles. It kind of recognised that there was a file afterwards. So you don't even really need to do much setup. Now if it doesn't work, drop this down, go to UDIM tiles and you can see here my textures are now applied. And that means I can actually now go in and texture paint. And hopefully now Blender's texture painting will actually work over multiple UDIM tiles. It was a little bit buggy in the beginning, but I think they've kind of fixed this. Now one thing you actually might notice is these UVs are actually the wrong way. Now one thing we can do is we can jump into UV Editor, and there's a good chance they probably just need mirrored, so they might be sitting on their own axis. Yeah, that'll do fine for the moment anyway with our texture painting. So I can quickly jump back into texture painting, and I can paint across multiple UDIMs. So essentially the front is getting a high resolution map and the rest of the UVs are using 1024. And that really is the basics of UDIMS. It's good for organising if you use substance, if you use armour paint. It means you can kind of control the resolution of the UV map and you can have multiple UDIMS. And it just kind of saves on render time to be honest. Do me a favour guys, if you've got any more requests, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me, got root! You know what to do. Take care.